Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna show you how to use the VFX preset. So here in the timeline, let's go to the footage you want. We can duplicate this, this layer, right? You can click out or option and drag this up. And on the above one, we can right click and select replace with After Effects. All right, now here in After Effects, we're gonna make a double click here, this little button with the footage. So you see that we open this panel, layer panel. Okay, here, you're gonna click in this brush tool, you see here. Roto brush tool, all right. Now, as you can see, this little green circle here. Okay, now we have to select the subject you want. Uh, back here, if you click here, we can draw. After effects, we're gonna try to make our select of the subject, so we can adjust by click and run here, and you can erase the, the we can erase the part you don't want. So you can simply press Alt op Option. In, in Mac and click here to delete the area you don't want to go and make this adjustment okay once you have the other subject selected you can now move forward this needle here so make sure that all the frames are on point in on a hotel brush so we can see like here make have this all right uh, okay let's move forward if you need to make uh, some adjustment you can stop here make some adjustment on the subject all right all right now you can click here this freeze button to delete the background okay now back here in composition panel you click here as you can see we only have the subject selected all right we can click here to review the alpha the alpha channel yeah so you can make some adjustment here but it's pretty much done you can jump to the premiere and move forward okay now here in premiere go here to the effects panel go to the preset folder and right click and plot presets uh, go to the folder where you have the the preset downloaded yep click and open all right now you're gonna see here the the government scope effects folder now here you can see all the effects all right now we can simply click and drag into the timeline into the layer you want so in this case I'm gonna use the nuclear 2 let's go click and drag yeah so that's it it's pretty easy just drag and drop and you also have the effects to apply on the background like uh, let me show you Okay, we can drag into this layer, the background layer. I have this crazy effect, yeah. We can duplicate this and hit okay, delete this, this effect here. All right, and apply the right one. And we have the left and the right, yes, that's pretty cool. So that's it, see you guys.